everybody, this is Pastor Ben Lim with The Breaker, where we are believing for breakthrough in every single area of your life. Of course, the Bible says that he himself is Paul Perzan, the Lord of the breakthrough. Are you ready to shake hands with breakthrough today? On this episode, we're going to talk about breakthrough in prophetic miracles. That's right, breakthrough in prophetic miracles. And what better person to interview and to discuss this topic, this realm, really, about with than Prophet Jesse Shep, the one and only, our good friend, man of God, Prophet Jesse, welcome to the show, The Breakthrough. Hey, Prophet, thanks for having me. Well, praise God. I I'm so excited to talk about this topic. Um, I know you have a wonderful book, even called Miracles and the Glory, but I believe this is a season for miracles. In fact, miracles are our portion. Deliverance yeah. Is the bread of God's children and miracles are our eternal portion. So today I want to talk about breakthrough and prophetic miracles because so many of our friends, viewers watching right now, they're saying, Pastor Ben, how do I live in a lifestyle, a realm of miracles? So so talk to us. What do you think <laughs> are, are some of the you know main reasons why God wants to release miracles in people's lives? Yeah, that's that's a great topic. I'm so excited to be on this show with you, my friend, Prophet Ben. And um, I love to talk about the miraculous, the healing, anointing, miracles. That's something that um, our ministry is really about. My wife and I traveled for nearly 10 years as itinerant ministers and just seeing the Lord perform incredible miracles. So what I want to talk to you about is some of the powerful healings that we've seen as we've traveled the world, and uh, especially America. And we wrote our book, Miracles and the Glory, Through Destiny. Um, and one of the most powerful miracles we've seen is the healing of cancer. Mm. Which we were in Milwaukee, and there was a woman that had eight brain tumors. It was an afternoon session. Amy and I laid hands on her prayed by faith and it was three days later all eight brain tumors were gone wow. the doctors did x-rays a second time could not find the tumors come on I understand there was one x-ray with eight brain tumors then they did another x-ray after we prayed all eight brain tumors were totally gone and she had at that time been given six weeks to live and it's been several years now, and she's totally healed, totally set free by the power of God. So it's our job as believers to, be, to really stand and believe on the Great Commission, that those that believe will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. And this is not just for the, the powerful evangelists. This is not just for the conference speakers. This is for the body of Christ. And it's the hour right now that it's really time that we step out of the four walls of the church and become the hands and feet of Jesus in the earth. Because I believe that God is looking for those that would be carriers of miracles, that would literally carry the realm of miracles. And Jesus told Peter, I'm going to give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind will be bound, whatever you loose will be loosed. So it's our job as sons and daughters of God to walk in dominion and authority and to carry the keys of the kingdom of heaven that we can release the glory of God in the earth wherever we go, that we can bind what needs to be bound and loose what needs to be loose on the earth. Is there joy in heaven? We need to loose that joy on the earth. Are there miracles in heaven? We need to release what's in heaven on the earth as we become the gate. We become the door that releases the supernatural into the earth. So something very powerful happens, Prophet Ben, as we step into the reality of who we are called to be as sons and daughters of God. The key to living in the miraculous, I believe, is found in the revelation of our identity. Because when we really step into the revelation that we are the house of God, we are the ones that carry the miraculous in the earth. Is it the Lord performing the miracles? Absolutely. But the Lord still needs you and I as vessels, as 
uh, prophets of God as intercessors to release these powerful miracles that we could become the bridge that releases the miracles into the earth. And so when we step into the reality of who we are, when it really dawns on us who it is that's living on the inside of us, we understand that we can lay hands on the sick and see the miraculous. We understand that we can take authority over the enemy, the devourer that tries to come into other believers' lives and try to become a hindrance to them, try to stop them and where God is wanting to break them through into destiny. But see, we need each other. We need prophets, men and women of God, that can be the carrier, that can be the breaker, that can release the supernatural into our lives and in, into the earth. I want to share another uh, powerful testimony with you since we're talking about miracles. We're talking about healing power. We're talking about uh, creative miracles, which I have a few stories I want to share with you. But we're also talking about we're also talking about into your miracle that releases the God of the breakthrough. Mm. So I, I, I want to share this with you because I was I was in New Hampshire and I had been uh, invited there to minister for a weekend with, with a friend of mine, Pastor Miles. And so I'm there in New Hampshire and it was, uh, I believe it was Friday night, I was ministering about how God was raising up a generation of prophets. And when there is a prophetic anointing that comes upon you, I know that you, you've probably experienced this as well. You kind of trail off in something. You, you hit a vein in the realm of the, of the Spirit, and you start to prophesy. You start to decree things and declare things. And what I began to declare was that financial miracles were going to take place supernaturally. Yeah. People were going to receive money in accounts. Things that had been locked up were going to be unlocked. I do this as the Lord leads. I'll, I'll decree, I'll declare. Well, so I, I went back to my hotel that night, and uh, the next day the pastor picked me up, and he said, last night you decreed and declared money miracles to take place, financial miracles to take place. I received a $4,000 a four, four breakthrough where I thought that I owed money on my taxes, but they actually paid me $4,000. Oh, yes. It's amazing. And I'm telling you, we've seen this happen several times. We, we've seen people receive these miracles of multiplication. Yeah. And it happens as we're looking into heaven. Jesus said, I can only do those things that I see my father doing. When we see the way that the Lord is moving, it's our job as prophets to decree and declare what we're seeing our father do in heaven. And it manifests on the earth. It breaks through in the natural. And so that's why it's so important that we become as little children in the things of the kingdom and believing and our Heavenly Father, and moving in faith because it really causes the manifestation of these miracles to take place. Wow. So I had, a, I had a, a powerful, powerful encounter as I was there as well. I want to share this with you. Please. Uh, I, I had gone back to my hotel as I was in New Hampshire, and uh, my AC was out. So I called down to the to the front desk of the hotel and they said, we're going to move you into room 320. So I had to gather all my stuff. I go to room 320. The pastor was picking me up the next day. He was going to bring me to George Whitfield's church in New Hampshire. And this is the area where he had preached his last sermon of the second great awakening. Wow. So his church was there. His house was in the bottom of the church, his living quarters. And as he's taking me to see George Whitfield's church, I, I was praying in my heart and I said, the, I said to the Lord, if you have anything for me as I'm here, I want to receive what was ever resting on this man's life. If you have some type of a, a breakthrough for me or an impartation, Lord, I want to receive what you're releasing. 
And so I'm thinking about how I had to move from my room into another room, 320. And this pastor brings me to this garden. And it was George Whitfield's place that he would pray and spend time with the Lord. And engraved on the bench was Revelations 320. Mm. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man would open, I will come in unto him and sup with him and him with me. So I believe what the Lord is saying to me this season, what the Lord is saying to the church this season is he's calling us into a place of prayer and intimacy with Jesus so that we would receive fresh revelation so that we could live in this realm of, of impossibility, this, this realm where um, miracles just happen, where, where there is no impossibility. We are living in the realm of the breaker where what has suddenly seemed so impossible suddenly becomes possible. Because we can't do this through our own strength or our own ability. We must be filled up with Jesus. We must be in that resting place of, of, of being with Jesus in the secret place because that's where all the miracles flow. That's where revelation flows. That's where ministries are built is from the secret place. So I'm accepting the invitation, Prophet Ben. Yeah. I'm accepting the invitation to open the door and allow Christ to come in. And allow him to remove whatever needs to be removed. And I position myself for an encounter. And then I become a carrier of breakthroughs. I become a carrier of revelation. Come on. Wow. You know, Prophet, there's so much you just shared there. You literally shared three testimony miracles that just happened to you recently. And when people ask me, because I've been at 50 nations in the last 10 years. And when people ask me, say, Pastor Prophet Ben, where have you seen the most amount of miracles? I'll say I've seen the most amount of miracles in the United States of America. Yeah. In the 50 states of America. I've been in more yeah. countries than states. But I've seen more miracles in America than even in Africa or Mexico or the Philippines or Mongolia, Cambodia. And I mean, we've seen mass deliverance. We've seen creative miracles. We've seen the dead raised. But we've seen more miracles in America. Why? Because it's time for America. There is a great awakening that's taking place. And when you catch this revelation that Prophet Jesse shared about, then a door will be open. Apostle Paul prayed, pray that an effectual door will be open. I'm telling you, yeah. 2021, this year and beyond, it is a year of the effectual door. God is opening up doors and gates for you to step through. Mm -hmm. I love what you said, Prophet. I've taught this um, wow. for many years that the same anointing that gives you power for wealth. Deuteronomy chapter 8. I have given you power to create wealth. Yes. That same power. Mm -hmm. it, same power that creates wealth and businesses wow. and ministries. It's the same power to heal bodies. Yes. The same yes. power to heal sicknesses and illness. It's the same power. So if you're effective in business... You can utilize yeah. the anointing in that realm to begin to heal people's bodies, to create. Come on, someone say create. God is a creator. He wants us to come yeah. with him, whether new bones, new muscles, new organs in people's bodies, or new ministries, new businesses, new commerce. Yeah. Now, God is releasing a co-creative, miracle-working power in this time. You know, uh, just uh, maybe about two months ago, just going back in this word that you shared about financial miracles, because God wants us to be prosperous. Yeah. And not only prosperous, but he wants us to be the lender. Come on, somebody. You know, the Good. Bible says, 2 Chronicles 20, 20, believe in his prophets and you shall be in poverty. No, if you believe in his prophets, you will prosper. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on. So when, you, when you're in line with the spirit of prophecy, you will prosper in every area of your life, especially with finances. But uh, I was ministering prophet two months ago at a conference in Long Beach here in California. And I, I literally saw the realm of financial miracles in the air. And I said, people of God, you need to pool line right now. Check your cash app, your Venmo, PayPal, bank accounts, and watch what happens. In the next 
15 minutes, there was 30 people that came up and began to testify. They were showing their phone. I just got $120. I just got $500. Oh, oh, oh. One woman came up in that moment and said, I received $20,000. Another person oh. came up and said, I received $5,000. I'm not kidding you. Because that realm was open up. God oh, wants us to be able to discern what realms are open up. And once it's open, it's all, always opened up. Because Jesus yeah. is, so it's always here. But there's times where there's a greater faith level or there's a greater um, activation for that to happen. So I believe that's a lot for you as we're watching this breakthrough and prophetic mirror. Yeah. This yeah. Receipt right now, financial I, increase. I feel that realm right now. Yeah. Go ahead, prophet. Come on. I feel that realm. Prophesy. I feel that. I feel that realm right now. About to start to receive. Money, miracles, blessing upon your business, blessing upon your ministry. Something is unlocking in the realm of the spirit right now. You need to catch it. You need to receive it in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for financial breakthrough in homes. Financial breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Mm. Listen, people of God, if you receive, not only do I want you to comment, I receive. But I want you to testify because the glory yeah. is real. It's instant. It's immediate. I love what you said earlier, prophet. You said by faith. Someone say by faith. You know, all of Hebrews says by faith, Abraham, by faith, Adam, by faith, Noah, by faith. Yeah. How important is it for us to understand that when we feel or when we sense, perceive by faith, then we move into it. How important it is, right, right. It, is it to have faith in order to gain these prophetic miracles in our lives? Wow. Man, I'm feeling the power of God right now. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, uh, there's. I'm telling you, there's people watching, and I really feel like we're going to get some testimonies back of of, of uh supernatural money miracles that are already taking place right now and inheritances that have been locked up taxes that that uh you you things you thought you owed money on uh there's going to be money miracles that take yeah. place for you this season oh. and the lord is really wanting to bless his people this season prophet ben come oh. on i believe the lord is calling us to a realm of faith a realm of faith that is going to stretch us, but we're going to see some of the most powerful increases, the most powerful miracles that we've ever seen before. And the, in the church, I'm telling you, we're going to another level, another dimension of the glory of God, of the power of God, and we are going to see the Lord move in unexpected ways. And I know this, this year... I want to say even last year, 2020 and 2021, was challenging in the sense that I was being stretched by faith in the Lord. And the Lord was stretching my faith. Wow. He was stretching me because he wanted to, he wanted to put more in me, understand? He wanted the glory to rise up out of me in greater levels and greater dimensions than I'd been before. And so as I was being stretched, I was believing the Lord in greater areas. And I was going to Michigan, Coldwater, Michigan. I had a two-week revival. Broke out, broke out from a Friday night that creative miracles happened. Mm. And it was the first night of the meeting, and I called out a word. I said, there's someone on the right side of the room. It's your right ear. You need a creative miracle. You're deaf in your right ear, but the Lord is going to heal you tonight. As this person came, prayed for them, the power of God hit them, and they said, I can hear. Oh and for nine years, they were unable to hear out of their ear. And actually, every morning, I have it on video on my YouTube. People can watch it. But uh, this, this young man would wake up every morning and he would have all this drainage that would come out of his ear. And for the first time in nine years, 
he no longer had to deal with that drain and she could hear a hundred percent. I mean, the Lord blessed his uh, business, brought his business to another level. The Lord just highlighted this young man and really blessed him with a creative miracle in his body. I believe it changed his life forever. And uh, there was also, there was also a, a, a place of creative miracles where it was in the atmosphere. People were just catching it in the atmosphere being healed. A, a, another young man in the soundboard had something grow back into his knee. When he had a surgery, they took out part of his meniscus. It regrew in his knee. Come on. And he jumped, he was on the stage jumping up and down and he was kicking his leg in the air. He was totally healed. So from this, people came from different places, different regions, different states. Power of God was moving mightily. And I mean, we just kept going for two weeks. And radical encounters with the Holy Spirit, people were having, souls were coming into the kingdom. And I, I really believe this is what is coming. This is the new normal where we're just going to go into extended meetings. It's going to be revival. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be from glory to glory. And we're going to see these regions that get set on fire for, for the kingdom of God, for the purpose of revival and harvest. It's already happening. And I know here where I am in Columbia, Tennessee, that the Lord has been placing it on my heart to go after the gate of the city. It's interesting that you, you messaged me and asked me to be part of this conference that we're doing uh, with, with Georgie and Van Off and, and many others, including yourself, because I was looking at the banner and I was seeing how on the banner it was about Jacob's ladder and open heavens. And the Lord has had me in this place of studying about Jacob's ladder and gates and guardians and how the Lord is raising up gatekeepers and guardians of cities and regions for the purpose of revival and harvest. So that's what's happening in Tennessee and in Nashville and the Nashville region. Many are calling Nashville the new L.A. because there's so many people moving here from so many different parts of America. And it's. It's really um, powerful what the Lord is doing. And there's, there's many prophets that are here. I know there's many prophets in California. So I believe there's a connection with Tennessee, California. There's a connection and what the Lord is doing this season. Amen. Absolutely, prophet. There's, there's definitely a connection. You know, uh, some of the major hubs that I saw a few years ago, hubs of glory, revival, apostolic centers, was of course uh, California, Tennessee, Texas, uh, Georgia, and Florida, yeah. um, especially Florida. But God is beginning to connect regions and gatekeepers. I love these at gatekeepers. You know, I know I'm a gatekeeper of revival here in Los Angeles. Um, I've right. been bestowed a golden key to go to Catherine Coleman's grave sites. So I'm a literal uh -huh. gatekeeper with the keys. Um, wow. God wants to entrust people in this season, in this era, to know how to open up doors and close doors, to know how to open up the gates, yeah. how to open up the heavens of God over regions. And there's yeah. a new apostolic glory that's coming upon the body. Sure. Because we're not just meant to preach and prophesy. We're meant to build wineskins that can hold a new wine. Yes. You know, I love what you said earlier, prophet. Because... He saved the best for last. And in these times, don't fear COVID. Don't fear SARS. Don't fear yeah. body play, gang mm -hmm. don't, don't fear none of those things. Because what we don't need is more, we don't need more pharma care. We yeah. don't need vaccination. We don't need masks. What we need is the power of God. We need the healing virtue of the healer. Yes. And today yeah. and ever, we're going to see supernatural signs wonders and miracles not only protect the people of god not only promote the people of god but even provide supernatural manna quail water supernatural provision is your portion mm -hmm. so god is releasing that to you in this yeah. season even in this broadcast the breakthrough in prophetic miracles prophet as we're about to bring this to a close this 
It's so rich. I'm feeling the pool of the spirit of prophecy because it's it is testimony. It's a testimony of Jesus. Yes. I want you mm. to just prophesy and to impart that breaker anointing for miracles for those yeah. people that are in lack, you know, feeling lack, maybe feeling, you know, a spiritually dry, weary. There's something fresh God's doing. I want you to release that breaker anointing. Absolutely. Over your friends watching right now. Absolutely. Father, we thank you right now, God, for every person watching this broadcast. We thank you for miracles coming into their lives. We thank you for the God of the breakthrough releasing miracles in their lives right now, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for healing people on their bodies. You're, you're healing people in their bodies. You're healing spines right now. You're healing lungs right now. You're healing the kidneys right now. You're healing hearts right now. You're, you're releasing creative power yeah. in people's bodies that you would literally recreate body parts now in Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, for the generation of prophets, the generation of, of miracle workers that you're raising up. You're raising them up, Father, to be the carrier of the kingdom of God in the earth, to release powerful miracles that will flow from them. We thank you for the next generation of leaders, of gatekeepers, of those that would stand at the gate. Lord, those that would stand at the gate and not allow demonic agendas to come into regions and cities, but Father, that revival would be our portion, God. I thank you for the entrepreneurs that you're raising up to stand in the city gates, Lord, to go through the city gates into the marketplace to help finance the kingdom of God. We thank you for the for the for the entrepreneur spirit that's rising up in America like never before. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're releasing new strategies, new businesses right now. I pray a blessing upon businesses. I pray breakthrough over businesses right now that there would be favor, there would be breakthrough in the realm of the spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for having me on, Prophet. Absolutely, man of God. There's a real transference of angels right now. The angels are moving. And there's a real transference of wealth coming. Mm -hmm. So, people of God, the gates of God are opened. And, uh, you know, uh, watch what he's going to do. Mark his words. Watch what he's going to do even by the month of June. Okay, even by the month of June, watch what God's going to do. In the next few months, wow. he's setting things up for your favor. Amen. Well, I mean, the power mm -hmm. of God is so present right now. People of God, I want you to comment what's going on in your body. What's going on in your being? What's happening? Talk to us. Comment. My gosh, this broadcast was way too short, yet powerful. And God is releasing breakthrough and prophetic miracles. Thank you, Prophet Jesse, for being on today with us. We appreciate you greatly. Thank you for having me on, Prophet Ben. It's been, a, it's been wonderful. People of God, that was Prophet Jesse Shen of Kingdom, Kingdom Culture International. Uh, him and his wife, they're both a powerhouse couple. If you're in the Tennessee area or anywhere, you need to go be a part of their meetings. It is off the chain. People of God, this is Pastor Ben Lim. I want you to comment, subscribe, and do share. Subscribe, subscribe. I hope you're blessed with today's episode of The Breaker, where we are believing for breakthrough in every area of our life, especially in the area of prophetic miracles. God bless you. Until next time.